What's up guys, it's Joe Gorgi here from JG Music, the YouTube channel for producers, songwriters and artists wanting to refine their craft or learn something new about the songwriting and music production process. As the title says, I am a music producer based in London. Music producing and songwriting is my full-time occupation, so I feel like there's a little bit I can know and comment on the songs that I react to in these Music Producer Reacts videos. This video today is actually the first Christmas-related content I've ever made on this channel and in December. We're going to be reacting to the new song by Elton John and Ed Sheeran called Merry Christmas. So so yeah, kind of hints that it is a Christmas song. Before we do get into the video though guys, hit that subscribe button if you enjoy these sorts of videos or you want to learn more about production or songwriting, it's the best way to support this channel as well as videos like these get demonetized because I'm playing music which is copyrighted. But with that aside guys, let's get into listening to Merry Christmas. Build a fire and gather around the tree Fill a glass and maybe come and sing Wouldn't it be a Christmas song about sleigh bells? Okay, so from listening to the first part of the song, there's quite a few things I actually want to point out which are quite interesting. You may need to do with that Elton John. When it comes to the vocal mixing of Elton John and how like the vocal production is done for it, I noticed there's a lot of double tracking that happens and a lot of layers which sort of uh, help support the voice a lot more and makes it sound a lot more powerful and cut through in the mix. But it's just interesting to hear that on After All, on Cold Heart as well, there's these uh, production techniques where it's the layering of vocals that sort of may not be as sort of driving or supported as you feel like it should do. Having more double track vocals helps the vocals still sound a lot more natural while applying that thickness to it because editing a vocal can be a very complex uh, thing to do especially if uh, the performance is quite uh, staccato and uh, and Elton can't hold his notes as well you don't want to stretch his voice too much because then it can sound too modulated and it doesn't sound real all of a sudden so yeah that's really interesting to point out obviously we've got the things like Slayer Bells we've got a piano which um, when I'm thinking of this song I'm thinking back to an Elton song obviously which is very big called Step Into Christmas thought maybe there might be some similarities there but at this point I want to just listen to a lot more of the song I feel like there's a lot more going on.
I like how there's a lot of, uh, in the music video, which I'm watching right now, the production, it's just got such that sort of Christmas feel. There's not too much going on. It's like the sort of texture with like the piano, uh, the sleigh bells, like more of like uh, acoustic sounding drums, nothing electronic or MIDI sounding. It makes it feel a lot more of that sort of uh, retro Christmassy feeling, like productions that you would have heard on like, you know, all them Christmas nostalgic songs that you've heard from the 70s, 80s into the 90s. The problem I find nowadays with Christmas music that comes out is everything's too popped up, if that's a way to describe it, where everything sounds way too midi processed you don't have any dynamics at all because everything's so overly compressed to the point where the song's just one consistent high energy thing where the whole point of christmas is all about experience you want to feel the emotion in songs and there's no better way to feel emotions in songs than to have constantly changing dynamics in the song to add more of a storytelling vibe to it which is why i think this one it doesn't sound too overly compressed the production isn't too complex it is exactly the blueprint what you'd expect from a Christmas song and that's the way you sort of got to do it because as I said again if you do too much it just it doesn't become a Christmas song it just becomes another chart song. It's I like that ending, that ending was very different. Um, I thought it was just gonna end on just like a perfect cadence going down, but that was really nice there to have that sort of mix up the chords at the end. Overall, this is an absolutely solid Christmas song and it definitely is gonna be added to all the Christmas playlists and uh, really gets you in the mood for Christmas. I think Elton John, especially as his retirement is coming next year, I think he's absolutely smashing it. So many songs of his he's coming out and uh, I've liked every single song that he's released, every collaboration that he's done especially collaborating Ed Sheeran, that's something that we definitely wanted to hear and we've got it and I'm impressed with the outcome. The main thing I'm really happy about is they haven't tried to overdo and go to town on sort of the production and try and make this a song which could be competing the loudness war in the charts or anything like that. It's just a Christmas song, a Christmas production, followed the blueprint, as I said, to a T. And yeah, it's the sort of thing that can really get you in the mood for Christmas. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think below. Comment below what you think of this song. Give it a rating out of 10 for me. Let me know, uh, there's the other five, <laughs> what you think of it but again guys if you made this far hit that subscribe button best way to support the channel if you enjoy these sort of reaction videos i have tons more of them which i'm going to leave uh, which will pop up here actually all my other music producing reaction videos that i've done and if you want to learn more about production or songwriting as well again hit that subscribe button or check out some more of my videos on my channel but yeah guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video